Well guys, the time has come for us to discuss bed bugs. You've probably seen a lot of media coverage about bed bugs in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about bed bugs how to find them, how to know if you've been bit, how to avoid them. Bed bugs are insects that feed off of human blood. They hide in dark spaces and cracks and crevices near where humans sleep, and they come out at night and feed on human blood. They are really tiny. An adult bed bug is about the size of an apple seed. Baby bed bugs are about the size of a poppy seed. They're gonna come and feed on your blood while you are asleep, and you're not gonna feel them crawling on you, and you're not gonna feel them biting you. They're sneaky, they're tricky, and when they bite, they actually inject a little numbing medicine so you can't even tell that you are that you are a victim. They're basically vampires. They come out at night to suck your blood. Bed bugs only come out in the dark to feed at night. They hide in cracks and crevices near where you sleep. They're gonna be hiding in your mattress, your box spring, especially like the little crevices. Uh, in, in the seams of the mattress. They also hide in headboards. They can also hide in baseboards. They're really small and they're flat. So because they're flat, that allows them to like hide in little tiny cracks and things. They also can hide in upholstered furniture. Skin signs of bed bugs are the development of itchy red welts that are clustered together, usually in groups of three. We fondly refer to this as the breakfast, lunch, and dinner pattern. These clusterings of bites will often take on a zigzag configuration. You will not typically see a bed bug on your skin. They come out at night again in the dark, feed for about four to 12 minutes, and then they go back to where they came from. They view you as basically a, a restaurant. They take advantage of you and then they just leave. <laughs> Other signs that you have bed bugs, you may notice some little specks of blood on your sheets. Here's the thing about the welts of bed bug bites. You will not develop these right away. So the first couple of times you get bit, there's a good chance you're not gonna develop these welts. The welts themselves are basically your immune system coming in and like getting annoyed by the presence of bed bug saliva in your skin. So it takes some time for your immune system to show up there and everyone's immune system reacts to bed bugs differently. And that's very important to understand. In many cases, by the time you start seeing the itchy welts, it's likely that you have been the host of bed bugs for multiple nights in a row and your immune system is just a little bit late to show up to the party to make these welts. Some people develop them after a couple of days. Other people, it takes you know up to 14 days. It's always like a husband and wife and the wife has welts and the husband doesn't and and so they're like, how could this possibly be bed bugs? He's not, he's not getting bit. Well, he's getting bit. His, his immune system is just, you know, not reacting quite as strongly. But as you continue to get bit, your immune system becomes a lot more savvy and you develop the welts a lot sooner after getting bit. So they inevitably do become a problem for most people, but a lot of people simply don't react to them. So just because somebody who is cohabitating with you does not have the welts does not mean that you do not have bed bugs. The welt of a bed bug is very itchy and if you look very carefully on it, you can see a little, what's called a punctum, a little red dot in the center. Yeah, that's where the snacking went down. That's, that's where, where they bit you. As far as the issue with bed bugs, one of the main issues is that, well, they itch, so you scratch them and they can become secondarily infected. It's very rare, though, to develop like serious allergic reactions to bed bugs, although it can happen. Bed bugs do not fly, they don't jump, they crawl around, and, and the way that they are spread is basically they move with you uh, to other places in your luggage most often or in furniture items like a mattress that maybe you give away to somebody you don't like uh, or an old piece of furniture. Bed bugs don't latch onto you. They don't, you know, they come at night, they feed on you, and then they go back to their little cave. So you're not gonna carry them on your skin as opposed to like lice, or scabies, those are things that you carry, or infestations that you carry around with you. So a really common scenario is that someone stays somewhere that has bed bugs and the bed bugs make it into their luggage, into their clothing, and they travel with you that way. Or maybe you have picked up an old piece of furniture that came from someone who had bed bugs and they are residing like in the mattress, the upholstery of the old furniture. One thing about bed bugs that is important to keep in mind, especially if you are very frustrated that you have acquired them, is that it's not a hygiene issue. So whether it be you or wherever you acquired the bed bugs, it 
was not, the root cause is not poor hygiene. So outbreaks of bed bugs can happen in hotels, motels, cruise ships, dorms, apartment and condo complexes, hospitals, assisted living facilities, nursing homes. So if you, you know, acquired bed bugs on a trip somewhere from a hotel, it's, it's very stressful, but it's not because the hotel or motel or wherever that you stayed was not clean. Uh, it, it's not a hygiene issue. These, the bed bugs come in because somebody brought them there. And the person who brought them there, it wasn't because they had poor hygiene. It's just the way that bed bugs move around. They come with a person in their luggage or, you know, in furniture that they might move around with them. And it doesn't take much because you can bring home a few bed bugs, like just one or two, and very quickly have a full-blown infestation because throughout the lifetime of a female bed bug, she will lay roughly 200 to 500 eggs. So you can easily get a lot of bed bugs. How do you know if the place that you are staying has bed bugs? What do you look for? When you check into your room, you might notice a musty odor. Not everyone though is able to detect this. Bed bugs release this chemical, it's how they communicate with one another and it can take on a musty odor. When you stay in a hotel room, a motel room, a cruise ship or, what, or like a dorm, a cabin, whatever, utilize the luggage rack. Don't put your luggage on the bed or leave it on the floor because the bed bugs, if they're there, they can crawl from the bed to your luggage and then you bring them home or they can crawl from the floor to your luggage and you bring them home. So, you know, put your luggage up on the luggage rack. When you get into the room, check for bed bugs. This is what you're gonna look for. You're gonna inspect the mattress, the box spring, the pillows. You're gonna look very carefully along the seams. You're also gonna look uh, upholstered furniture in the room. To reiterate, you're not likely going to find an actual bed bug because again, they, they don't come out when the, the lights are on. Instead, what you're gonna be looking for are little tiny specks of blood. You're also gonna look for little dark black specks. That is basically bed bug excrement. I know, I'll show you a picture here. Bed bugs have a hard exoskeleton that they shed, so you may see these casings. You might also see eggs, but keep in mind, they're gonna be very, very tiny, so you may not be able to see them. If you are concerned that you have picked up bed bugs along the way of your travels, what can you do when you get home to prevent an infestation? Well, when you get home, first thing you wanna do is make sure that you wash all of your clothes. You can kill bed bugs and their eggs with hot water and high temperature. So wash all of your clothing, including the clothing you did not wear in hot water in the washing machine and run it through the dryer. That should kill bugs, the bed bugs as well as their eggs. Bed bugs and their eggs can also be killed with a garment steamer, so you can take that to your luggage as well. If you're not able to put these things in a washing machine right away, you can seal them up in a garbage bag um, and they won't get out. So you can seal everything up in a garbage bag. You can also utilize a hot dryer. Now, if you're concerned that you have bed bugs in your home, how do you check for them? Similar to what I just told you about how to look for signs of bed bugs, you're gonna look in the mattress, the seams, the seams of the pillows, the headboard. You're gonna be looking for the black specks, the little specks of blood, casings, maybe some eggs. But you're not likely at all, truthfully, to actually see a bed bug unless you do the following. Here's how to actually look for bed bugs. You need to set your alarm clock to go off um, anytime between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. because that's when they are most active. And it's actually best if you get someone to do this uh, for you. But you or your partner needs to physically be in the bed because the bed bugs are drawn to you, to warmth, to, to human to a human body. So because of this, you physically need to be in the bed while someone else looks for the bed bugs. They're not going to come out if there's no one in the bed because they're drawn to a warm body in the bed. Check all around the mattress, the pillowcase, the pillows, uh, you know, upholstered furniture close to the bed. They love that. And again, all around the baseboards. They, they'll come out between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So that's when you can find them. They don't jump, they don't fly, they just crawl and they move really fast. If you have bed bugs, how do you get rid of them? You have to have professional extermination. They won't just go away. And a lot of people will try and leave and then come back, guess what? Bed bugs? Ugh. Bed bugs are definitely vampires because they can live up to a year without eating. <sighs>
So a lot of people, you know, be like, I'm just going to close up my, my apartment, move, you know, go somewhere else for a couple of months, however long, and then I'm going to come back. They'll be waiting for you. <laughs> They'll be waiting for you. Bed bugs are tricky <laughs> and many of them have mounted resistance to various insecticides. So it requires a professional exterminator to come in to find them, to destroy them. They also follow up to make sure that they are gone. So that's what it takes. So if you live in an apartment complex, the landlord needs to do that. You know, anybody who deals with bed bugs, I, I have, you know, I'm very, very sympathetic uh, because it, it's a nightmare, honestly. I mean, they, they last a long time. And if you live in an apartment complex, they easily make their way over to your neighbor um, and, and hang out in your neighbor's bedroom. And before you know it, the whole floor has bed bugs, the whole building has bed bugs. It's, it's a, you know, a huge problem. They, they are, they are, they're pests, they're a nuisance. Um, but the good news is with the skin problem that they cause as welts, itchy welts, they're unsightly, they're uncomfortable, they're itchy but you know, they're not life threatening. So you're not gonna die from bed bugs. And, you know, unless you have a severe allergy, that's rare, you're not gonna die from bed bugs. You can get mattress protectors that will seal the mattress and box spring protectors that will seal it. And so basically will prevent the bed bugs from coming out and biting you. Similar to the mattress protectors that um, you get for dust mites, also can be helpful for uh, preventing the bed bugs from getting out and biting you. So bed bugs, you know, they feed off of, of your blood and then they may go bite, you know, and snack on someone else. So can they transmit bloodborne diseases? Uh, it, it's, a, it's actually an unknown in, in, in a sense. Studies have looked at that and it, it doesn't seem as though they do, but they can carry pathogens like um, hepatitis but they don't seem to actually effectively transmit it to other people. It doesn't seem likely. Um, they're mostly just a nuisance and a pain to get rid of. If you are in the throes of a bed bug infestation, you've got the itchy welts, what can you do about them? Like, how do you get rid of the welts? The welts themselves should go away um, within a couple of weeks, each welt, but you know, as they bite you, you're gonna get more. And as they continue to bite you, your immune system will get a lot more efficient at, at forming these welts. So things that you can do, uh, you know, you want to cut down on the, the itch sensation as best you can with topicals because itch is going to lead you to scratch, which is further going to disrupt your sleep and put you at risk for skin infection. So topical steroids, just the little welt can help silence that itch. You can, you, even the, the topical steroid hydrocortisone cream that you can buy in the drugstore without a prescription, it's pretty effective for silencing bug bite itch. Uh, it's, it's, it, it works quite well. Uh, just apply it. You don't need a lot, just a tiny thin film to just the bite itself. You don't need to put it all over the skin uh, twice a day and it'll help get rid of the itch so the bite can heal faster. Um, also, there are over-the-counter uh, lotions and creams that are you know, anti-itch creams that have promoxin in them, a topical anesthetic that soothes and you know helps cut down on the itch sensation. Uh, if you do scratch and end up getting a secondary skin infection, your dermatologist can prescribe a topical antibiotic ointment to treat that, uh, but best to prevent that by trying to you know cut down on, on the itchiness with topicals. All right, guys, that's what I wanted to talk about regarding bed bugs. I really hope this video was helpful. Congratulations if you even made it this far because I know talking about bed bugs is, you know, not everyone's cup of tea to hear about. Probably made you itch just hearing about it. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.